All right, everyone. Well, we've got some very crazy stuff going on in Raid Shadow Legends today, and honestly, this might be the best opportunity that you will have to summon your Mystery Shards. That's right, we've got an event going on for Sacred Shards. Why am I talking about Mystery Shards? Well, I'll get into that in a second, because it actually has to do with the Summon Rush that is running alongside this Double Rates event for Sacred Shards. But let's go over that, because we do have Double Rates active for Sacred Shards, so if you take a look at the actual news you'll see right here at the top global summoning boost you also have the portal glow but never just rely on this because they use the portal glows for the 10x events and the colors don't necessarily correspond to the actual type of shard so you might see like the purple portal glow that doesn't mean void shards it can also mean epic champions i know it's confusing which is why i always say double and even triple check the actual summoning information here as well so click the eye icon you'll see we've got a 12 percent chance for sacred shards which means it's active because normally the chance to get legendaries is six percent from sacred shards so not a bad idea to just always double triple even quadruple check because it would be a tragedy to summon your hard-earned saved up shards not realizing that the double rates event wasn't actually active yet so that's the first thing that we have going on now running alongside the double rates for sacred we also have a summon rush now I wasn't surprised to hear about this because summon rushes are one of the most commonly run events in Raid Shadow Legends. We usually get a summon rush or a champion chase tournament with a double rates event, uh, which is nice that they've been doing this a lot more lately. Uh, but this one is crazy. It's crazy for multiple reasons, but one in particular, I wanted to go over the details in the video today. Uh, because it is going to probably make it the best opportunity to use any mystery shards that you might have. But you want to make sure that you do this properly because if you don't, you could end up wasting a lot of resources and that would be really bad. So let's get into the details here. So Summon Rush, it is a 10,000 point Summon Rush, which is crazy. That is a lot of points. I think it's funny as well that, you know, that really baity Summon Rush that uh, I talked about, what was that? Maybe a week ago, 10 days ago? I know it wasn't that long. And already there is another Summon Rush that is running with 10,000 points. So you can see how it's just not ever going to be sustainable to save mystery shards for all the summon rushes. You're going to have to pick and choose carefully, but this is a very good opportunity. The best one that we have had so far, and that has to do with the actual rewards here. So if you take a look, the first line of rewards, pretty typical for a summon rush. You know, we've got the energy, the gems, uh, the bruise, silver, rare, skill tome. The second line of rewards, also pretty typical. This is where a lot of summon rushes actually end off here, is at 2,500 points. And you've got the very typical second line of rewards. You know, the XP boost, more energy, uh, the two tomes, the epic, the legendary, some more silver, uh, the artifact. But it's this third line of rewards. All right, so we have had tons of legendary skill tomes offered in summon rushes before, but the important thing about this one is the actual amount of legendary skill tomes versus the points that you need in order to get them. So that legendary skill tome per points ratio. And you can see here the points at which the legendary skill tomes are spaced apart. So at 2,500 is when you get that first legendary skill tome, but of course you have all these rewards before it as well, including that epic skill tome. But after 2,500 points, you now get a legendary skill tome every 1,250 points afterwards. So 12, uh, 2,500, 3,750, 5,000, 6,250, 7,500, 8,750, and 10,000. Now that is significant because this is the lowest points that they have spaced out their legendary skill tomes. Previously, it used to take, you know, around 2,000 to 2,500 points in between the legendary skill tomes in order to get them. And even in that really baity summon rush that we had, you know, a week or so ago, where you only had 24 hours in order to summon, you could see now why it was even more bait because now we have another summon rush, 10,000 points. This one doesn't have that 24 hour period of time. You've got a full three days. We also have a double rates event running alongside this for sacred shards. And on top of that, you have an even better opportunity in order to get those legendary skill tomes. I believe in that last bait summon rush, you were looking at around 2,000 points per legendary skill tome, but now it's 1,250 uh, after you end up getting that first one. So um, if you have mystery shards saved up, this is the best opportunity that we have had so far in Raid Shadow Legends to use them. So this is going to be a great chance to do so if you still have a stockpile. 
Uh, now, of course, in terms of the priority of what shards to actually use here, this is really, really important. And I want to go over some of this stuff here uh, because you don't want to just blindly start summoning your mystery shards. Because what if you summoned, you know, let's just say you summoned uh, 3,740 mystery shards, right? That's a problem because now you're 10 away from the, you know, next one. Let's just say the event ends in five minutes. You have no nothing you can do. You don't want to find yourself in a situation where you have resources end up going to waste. So no matter how you approach this, you want to do it the best way that you possibly can. So in terms of the priority, obviously sacred shards are number one because we have the double rates of an active for sacred shards. So not only are you going to be getting 500 points per, per sacred shard, uh, but you also have double the chances for legendary. So this is as good as it gets and as good as it has ever gotten for sacreds. The thing is, I don't think there are many people who have 20 sacred shards. Even for whales, that is a lot of sacred shards, and I do not have that many myself, not even close, so I'm going to have to figure out exactly what to do and how to approach this after that. So what do you do after sacred shards? Well, the next on the list is going to be any stockpile of mystery shards that you have saved up. One point each might not seem like a lot, uh, but, you know, mystery shards are one of the shards that are not, uh, you know, the, the extremely valuable ones where you get epic and legendary champions. They are for food and the fact that you still end up getting points during summon rushes and during champion chases. It's great. And you can end up farming these in game. This is the best opportunity to end up using these. Now, again, the thing is, there's probably not going to be a lot of people out there who have an insane stockpile of sacred shards and mystery shards to be able to end up getting all of these skill tomes. So, you know, what do you do after that? What's next up on the list here? And this is where things get a little bit more complicated because now the question is, is it worth going to be using your void shards and your ancient shards outside of a double rates event just for points in order to end up getting these legendary skill tomes? Now, previously, uh, the answer I would say was, was almost always just a flat out no for all the summon rushes leading up to this one because you needed 2,000, 2,500 or so points per skill tome. But now that they're spaced out 1,250 points apart, you know, things change a little bit. And this definitely might be a yes for a good amount of you, kind of depending on, you know, your own account, your progress, how many champions you already have, and so on and so forth. But let's get into the actual numbers here so these decisions are a little bit easier for you to make. So in terms of void shards, now, next up on the list, after Sacreds and after Mysteries, between Voids and Ancients, which are the two shards left, I would say the next choice is Void Shards. And, uh, you know, it's always kind of confused me a little bit how Void Shards are 120 points, but Ancient Shards are still only 20 points for the Summon Rush. I understand that Void Shards are more valuable. Uh, they're always going to be seen as more valuable because they are of the Void Affinity. But are they really six times more valuable? That seems a bit crazy to me. Um, so the fact that you get six times more points from Void Shards compared to Ancient Shards, that's a really big thing for Summon Rush events. Now, in terms of how many Void Shards you would have to summon, well, they're spaced out 1,250 points apart. If you average it out, though, you've got seven Legendary Skill Tomes, 10,000 points total. So you're looking at around 1,400 points per Legendary Skill Tome. You know, that's 10 to 12 Void Shards that you have to summon right now outside of a Double Rates event in order to get the points uh, per Legendary Skill Tome. And uh, if you were to summon Void Shards during a Double Rates event, it's approximately half as many. Now, that's not the 100% best comparison because if you summon right now, you are technically going to get more rare champions, and there are actually a good amount of Void champions that are rare. So it, maybe it might not be exactly, you know, half as many, uh, but it still gives you a good approximation. So if you're looking at about 10 to 12 Void Shards right now, per legendary skill tome that's about five to six void shards that you would have to summon during a double rates event to get the same value of you know champions at least in terms of epics and legendaries so that means that you are losing out on approximately five to six void shards worth of value per legendary skill tome by choosing to summon them right now during this summon rush now, five to six, again, might not be the best number if you value, uh, you know, if there's a lot of void rares that you're still trying to get, maybe it's even an even better opportunity for you to summon right now than it would be because you've got the legendary skill tomes and you're also going to be getting uh, more void rares because you're summoning outside of the double rates event. So, you know, at least this gives you a, a reasonable approximation to kind of make that decision, even though it's not going to be 100% exact. 
Now, the thing is, the Ancient Shards is kind of where it starts to fall apart, and I would say, you know, this one maybe might not be the, the best answer for you. Uh, so you're looking at uh, 20 points per Ancient Shard. That means you're going to have to summon approximately, you know, 60 to 70 Ancient Shards to get the points per Legendary Skill Tome. That's about 30 to 35 if you were to summon them during a Double Rates event. You know, again, not the 100% best comparison because you do technically get double the champions right now, but still gives you a reasonable approximation that you're giving up about 30 to 35 Ancient Shards worth of value summoning right now for the points to get the skill tomes instead of during the double rates event so the answer to this is really it depends on the progress of your account i would absolutely say sacred shards absolutely summon best chance you'll ever get mystery shards this is the best chance that we've had so far you know keep some of them in your reserve uh in your stockpile but definitely summon a good amount of them especially if you plan it out really well exactly how many to use and then between ancient and void shards uh you know what it comes down to is the progress of your account um depending on how many dupes of champions you're you think you're going to end up getting uh what, what epics and legendaries you already have i think for a lot of people especially more mid game end game players this might not be a bad opportunity to actually uh go for the points to get these books because of how difficult books are to get so this is really the first time that I've even entertained this question almost always before I've said, don't even think about it. But this time, now my answer actually is, hey, it might be worth thinking about. I'm not saying 100% for everyone, but at this point, it's definitely worth thinking about. So that's pretty much everything about this summon rush. Um, <laughs> I mean, hey, it's uh, one that was definitely worth going over in a bit more detail. So I'm, I'm hoping I helped make things a little bit more clear about it. Now, besides the actual summon rush, we've got the Dungeon Divers. Four days left on this right here. Uh, it does have that Legendary Skill Tome and Epic Skill Tome. It is a big one, though, so if you're still grinding on this one, uh, keep in mind I've still got quite a bit of work left to do. The Arena Assault came back. 250 points, which definitely seems pretty reasonable. I think this was a three-day Arena Assault, so um, not a long timer, but not a ton of points needed for this one. And the last event that we really have going on right now is the Ice Golem. And honestly, the rewards for this Ice Golem are not that great. 3,000 points, but no tomes at all. Not even an epic. No legendaries. Just a couple chickens, some brews, gems, and silver in the uh, rewards there. So it's not the best, but if you're working on the dungeon divers, then, you know, at least it's something you can kind of do at the same time and knock out two things at once. But I would definitely not go out of my way just in order to get those ice golem rewards. Now, the question is, what am I going to do? Well, I am going to summon my nine sacred charts. That'll probably be either tomorrow, maybe even later tonight. And then, um, you know, I do have the mystery shards in order to go for the 10,000 points. But the thing is, I actually have to make a very long drive uh, across state borders. It's going to take an entire day. And I just don't know over the next couple of days if I'm going to have the time in order to sit and spam four, five, six thousand mystery shards. So there is a good chance that I might actually just end up summoning uh, my void shards and maybe even ancient shards. Uh, because I, I need to end up getting those points quicker. I'll kind of have to see what do you guys think about all this. That's not necessarily the option that I would recommend for you, but because of my time constraints, that might be what I end up doing with this event. So I'm going to leave it here, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and uh, definitely keep an eye out for those summons. They should be coming up real soon. So with that all being said, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Feel free to toss a quick like as well. It means more than you can imagine. And more Raid Shadow Legends videos, guides, tutorials should be popping up. Feel free to check them out. If not, till next time, have a great day, everyone. This is Salt of the Salty Guild signing out.